Consider an arbitrary triangle ABC. Think about starting at one of the points and walking around that triangle until you get back to the starting point. In our example, I'm going to walk from C to A, and then A to B, and then B to C. Now to help assure that I'm walking in a straight line, I might look from C across A and spot a point further out D so that as I walk, I'm always lining up this A and D so that this walk is a straight line. Once I get to A, I'm going to need to turn to the right so that I can begin to look at B. Now that angle that I turned, let's call that alpha, and of course the angle A this angle here, sum of A and alpha, is 180 degrees because that's of course just half of a circle. So now I'm standing on A and I'm looking at B. So again, I will sight across B to some point E so that I can walk a straight line, making sure that that B and E are always lined up. Once I get to B, I'll turn to my right and begin to aim at C again, at the starting point. The amount of turning that I make is going to be beta, and notice that beta plus B is also 180 degrees because it's half a circle. Once again, standing on B, I'll sight across C to some point further on, so that as I walk, I can always line up C and F and make sure that I walk in a straight line from B to C. Now I started standing on C, looking at A. Right now I'm looking off at F, so I need to turn again. And so I'm now back where I began and looking in the same direction that I began in. Notice that in each case, the alpha, plus A is 180 degrees, the beta plus B is 180 degrees, and the gamma plus C is 180 degrees. And notice that I have turned around 360 degrees because I started looking in this direction, then I turned and looked in this direction, then I turned and looked in this direction, and finally I turned back so I was looking in the same direction I began at, always making right-hand turns. Now, in this process, you turned around exactly once, in other words, 360 degrees. Each of the angles in the triangle, plus the turning angle that we made at that vertex, is equal to 180 degrees. Or, in other words, the angle in the triangle is 180 degrees minus the turning angle that we made when we were standing in that vertex. So, a series of algebra observations show that the sum of the angles is 180 degrees. You see, if we take the sum of those three angles in the triangle, then A is the same as 180 minus the turning angle that we made at that vertex. B is the same as 180 minus the turning angle at that vertex, and C is 180 minus the turning angle at that vertex. So on this right-hand side, we have 3 times 180 minus the sum of the turning angles, and we know that we turned a total of 360 degrees, three half-circles minus one full circle leaves us with one half circle.